Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. In the last video, we learned how racks A and B are used to assign and configure I.O. devices. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to configure servers and controllers, and how to set up mixer sessions offline. The Servers Rack is used to assign, remove, and configure SoundGrid servers. Use the drop-down menu to access the server setup items. Assign a server from the list. A server that's unavailable is grayed out. The Server Network Buffer menu item sets the amount of time it takes for audio to stream from the I.O. to the server and back. This determines the speed of real-time processing. Lower settings result in lower system latency and greater responsiveness. Higher settings yield more stability but greater latency. If you encounter pops or similar errors, increase the buffer setting. Remove releases the server. Server status is displayed on the icon itself. Just like on the IOs, on indicates that the server is present and operational. If the server's firmware is not compatible with your SoundGrid software, the rack slot will remain red until the server firmware is updated. Launch the updater, if needed, by clicking on the FW button. A blue FW button indicates that the server's firmware is not the most current, but you can continue to operate the device until you manually update. You can add a second server for redundancy. The SoundGrid system determines which is the primary and which is the secondary server. The status indicator of the redundant server reads RSGS. The switchover to the second server is automatic. It takes a few seconds until audio is restored. Use the controls rack to assign external controllers to the mixer. The controller device status displays the presence and status of a control device. On, the device is present and operational. NA, the device corresponding to the selected protocol is not present or is not functioning properly. The Devices drop-down menu lists all available controller protocols, whether the associated device is connected or not. Remove unassigns the current control protocol. The Gear button opens the control panel of the selected controller protocol. Use this window to adjust device settings. Working with controllers is discussed in detail in Lessons 6.3 and 6.4. A mixer or plug-in parameter that's being controlled by an external device is highlighted by a red bracket. The mixer can be completely pre-configured or modified offline without a server or IOs. You can select and assign virtual devices that reflect the hardware that will be used. This enables you to prepare the entire mixer system patching, channel settings, plug-in presets, and mixer configuration without the hardware. A session prepared offline, whether on the host computer, a laptop, or a tablet is a complete session. It will be fully operational when the actual IOs and server are connected and powered on. To work offline, load an existing session, or start with an empty one. Choose a slot in one of the I.O. device racks and open its menu. Select an I.O. that you wish to use virtually. Choose the same devices in the same slots that you'll be using when you run the session for real. The offline device will appear in the rack. Its text will always appear red, and the icon will read offline. Set up your session. The offline device's inputs and outputs are available in the patch window and in any mixer window where devices can be routed. 
Configure all channels, auxes, internal routing, and plugins, just like you do when the devices are physically present. When you open the session on a mixer system with IOs and a server, the devices that you configured offline are replaced with the real thing. We've now covered most of what you need to know about the system inventory page. For more details, please refer to the eMotion LV1 user guide, which you can view by clicking on the Waves logo in the upper right corner of any mixer window. You can also download it from the Waves website. The next video is about managing sample rate in the eMotion LV1. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.